Mayor, members of the council, I'm Henry Gilmo, represent Monster Academy. <coughs> For the record, I'm supporting Lone Star in the approval of the item number 28, but I'm also supporting item number 27 in the approval of that item as well. Um, I understand that there may be some consideration of postponing this for another 30 days. Respectfully, Council, we would request that the Council not postpone this for another 30 days and just approve this item on third reading today. We have, uh, this item has already been delayed to Lone Star's detriment. Council, you approved 10 months ago awarding Lone Star 50 additional permits last December in two phases. 30 permits in February and the remaining 20 in June. The first phase of 30 permits was delayed by a posting error and didn't get finalized until April, which was after South by Southwest. The second phase of the 20 permits was supposed to be awarded in June, well in time for ACO and the F1 rents. Because of significant delays, Lone Star will miss the benefit of having these 20 cabs on the street for F1 and ACO won't be able to place the cars into service before January the 1st. Additional delays just work for Lone Star's detriment. Council, the reason this item is before you is because Lone Star was under-permitted from its inception. Having three healthy, competitive taxi cab franchises should be of paramount concern to the city. Otherwise, you are encouraging a monopoly for one franchise. That not only takes away choice for the traveling public, but also eliminates the choice drivers have to work for another franchise, which may have better equipment, better management. Lone Star has been asking for 75 additional permits for over two years now because it's been under permitted from the beginning. This item represents your recognition that the city didn't award Lone Star enough permits from the inception and represents a one time adjustment in order to allow the company to effectively compete in the market. Council, this is an expensive, bewildering, and frustrating process for a small business like Lone Star trying to compete. Not only does Lone Star have to compete with other franchises, but it competes with pedicabs who don't have the same capital costs, insurance costs, and maintenance obligations. Compete with limousines and shuttle services. Compete with Capital Metro shuttle bus services during major events. And now helicopter flights to and from the F1 race. Solomon is a small businessman, just trying, just asking for a fair chance to compete. And even though it's the smallest franchise, Lone Star channels its revenues into new vehicles and state-of-the-art technology. For example, as he mentioned before, he's made a substantial investment in the latest technology, whereas every new vehicle is equipped with a navigation system with audio turn-by-turn -turn direction. This is state-of-the-art technology. Can I interrupt you just a second? You want to pause for that? That is three minutes for you. And that's the way I intended to give a maximum of three minutes per person. Okay. If you want to wrap up quickly? I'm finished. Uh, all right. Uh, council, I just ask that you approve this item on third reading. I 